good morning so I'm at the start point for Morven the highest point in Caithness I think the weather's forecast to be okay according to the book it should be just a 10 mile about four to six hours I think this walk is relatively flat majority of the way and then we've got a vertical 400 metre climb up to the top let's go Nice view of Maiden Pap there. A conical shape. And just behind the tree. Just through there. That's Morven. It doesn't look nothing on the phone. But I think it's going to be a little beast. Now there on the left, and you can see more than there peeping over there in the distance. I must say, I think it's going to be a steep climb. That glorious day, it's a little bit of a breeze, but I'm still getting attacked by flies and midges. some buzzards circling high above so you can see Carn Moor Morven and I'm heading to the Col in the middle and then up the southeast slope Dale water so I'm at the foot of Morven and according to the book this next one kilometer is probably the toughest stretch of walking in this book a very steep thigh burn in ascent of 400 meters is required well we'll soon find out where we're doing it looks a piece of piss to me yeah it is tough I'm not gonna lie fuck's sake I'm not keen on these boulder fields, right? Absolutely treacherous. It's all loose. This is going to be perilous coming down. Not far off now, though. The top is in sight. I'm not looking forward to getting back off of this, though. So this is the small cairn at the top of Morven. And 706 meters above sea level. Wow, what a view! Looking north, right in the distance, that headland jutting out, I think, might be Dunnett's Head, the most northerly point in mainland Britain. Wow, what a view! Loads of wind turbines. Maiden Pap over there and down there you can see Berrydale Water where them trees are you can see the route I've walked up 
but yeah, he weren't lying. That last stretch were a killer light. But yeah, looking east now, over the North Sea. And this is number 83 for the county topper. Come back to the north. Ice point in Cave Ness. Number one. Yes! Now it's going to be a tough slog back across them boulder fields. I'm just going to chill out a minute first. Have a fag, have a can. That knows. So I've negotiated my way down over the boulder fields and back on the faint track now to take me home. I did find an easier route down, a lot easier route down actually. So now it's just a pretty flat, steady roll back. So I'm nearly back at the car now. It left took me just over five hours. It's been a good one that. A good one to start the week. Nice long flat stretch to start. Then a stiff climb. A bit of scrambling over at Boulder Fields. But yeah, it's been a good one that. Brilliant views from up top. And this one, Cave Ness. And the one I'm planning on doing tomorrow, Benmore Ascent of Sutherland, are the two furthest away from me on the British mainland. So now I'm planning on going up to Dunnett's Head, then across to John O'Groats, and if I've got time, onto Duncansby Head Lighthouse. So I might add them videos on to this one. So I'll see you in a bit. So this is Dunnett Head, the most northerly point of mainland Britain. Do you know you're travelling up motorway and you see it road signs and place names and then above it you see the north. Well this is it. The north. There's uh, Dunnett Head Lighthouse. Beautiful day. And now on to uh, John O'Groats. So now I've moved on to John O'Groats. Looking over to the island of Stroma, if that's how you pronounce it. And beyond that, I think that's uh, Hoy. And then over there, you can see the southern tip of the Orkney Islands. And over there, you can see Duncan's Behead Lighthouse, which I think I'm going to go to after this. It doesn't seem five minutes ago since we were sailing across here on the way back from Shetland to Aberdeen when we got diverted along the north coast up towards Scrabster. And now I'm here. This is how the county topper rolls on tour. 
So welcome to Duncan's Behead Lighthouse. And this is the most northeasterly point of Britain. I'm not sure what John O'Groats is actually. I think that's just like the most northeasterly settlement. Um, so when they're going about end to end, like John O'Groats to Land's End, really it should be Land's End to Duncan's Behead. Again, great views over the southern end of mainland for the Orkney Islands and over towards Hoy and Stromer. And that's it for today. What a day. I think I've done enough now. Long drive back to Inverness. Glorious views along the north coast there. So, tomorrow, I think I'm going to do Benmore Ascent for Sutherland. So, I'll see you on that one. Right, so, I just noticed this trick point not far from Duncan's Behead Lighthouse. So, I thought I'd pay a visit. I'm not sure what this hill is called actually. But I'll claim it, so I'll call it Duncan's Beard. Finishing style. Little bonus one.